So we're going to walk you through what we do for a sedation. Now all sedations are a little bit different. We tailor to the person that we're doing the sedation on. So we're going to show you our thought pattern as we're doing this. Everybody's a little bit different. So we're going to go through some drugs and tell you why we give a certain drug and when we give more drugs and why we give the dose that we give someone. We're going to kind of walk you guys through that. Can you pump your hand up for me a couple times? Perfect. This is just a quick little stick, okay? Okay. All done. No more needle. Just a catheter now. Can you open real big so I can see the back of your throat? Perfect. Okay, we're gonna start with some Versed here. It's gonna start making you feel sleepy, okay? So with Brayden, what we do is we start with five of Versed right off the bat. He has hard wisdom teeth. They're gonna be very stimulating when we take these things out. We'll go ahead and start with five. I'm gonna wait about a minute, let that start working in the brain, and then we're gonna decide what the next step's going to be. We'll give some Zofran too. It's an anti-emetic to help you not get nauseated, okay? So that's four Zofran that we're giving. And then the thing that I like to do is I like to take the Decadron which is eight of Decadron, and I like to put that in the bag. I'm gonna give him this entire bag of fluids, but you know, as you guys know, if you push Decadron a little bit too fast, one of the complications is this perianal burning that you can get. Yeah. And that is it's never, very uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable for people to have. That's the last thing we want them to think about before they go to sleep to have their wisdom teeth out is wondering why their butt's itching and burning. Right, Chanel? Yeah, we don't want that. Alright, how are you feeling? Okay, so if you look at Brayden right here, you ask him a question, his speech is a little bit slurred, but you're awake, right? You can see my finger right here. How many fingers do I have up? One finger. So he's still awake even with five of her set. So what we're going to do specifically with him is he doesn't have a narcotic history, so we're going to give a drug called Nubane. And what I'm going to do is we're going to give 10 of Nubane next. So go ahead and get that. So we're also going to do some Tordal, Catorolac. It's a strong anti-inflammatory, and since he's receiving Exquil, so that'll be a long acting and medication to block the pain. And then the Tordal will help um, suppress the inflammation and pain as well. You saw how we did the sedation, we took the teeth out. We actually never had the redose once we gave the initial dose at the beginning of the procedure. He was very comfortable, he doesn't remember anything. He went to the recovery room. Now we like to avoid giving narcotics to our patients, especially teenage kids. So what we're doing with him is we give him amoxicillin, we give him Paradex, which is a mouth rent, and then we give Toradol. Now, for Toradol, you have to be over 16, and the first dose of Toradol has to be either IV or IM. That's why we gave the Toradol IV during the case. But this is what we give our patients, no narcotics. You don't have to worry about the kids getting hooked on narcotics. We can really help out with the opioid crisis that we have in the U.S. by doing our surgeries this way.